Okay folks, what I want to talk about, today we're putting in a 230 volt condensate pump, but you also have a low voltage switch in here. So what happens if the flow switch comes up to a certain point inside, it will actually will shut down because right here your water comes out. And I'll show you a video later how that works, okay? We're going to have what the inside of a condensate pump looks like. Anyway, so if this here gets blocked and clogged, the flow switch will come up to a certain point, it will shut the unit out. So I want to tell you how it works out. It works just like you would an SS2 switch for you technicians, an SS3 switch, okay? Nothing more. You're only going to break the red wires, the one that comes from the thermostat and one that comes from the air handler. So you see what I've done? I've just used my red and white here. And I'll, I'll straighten all this other stuff later, guys. So I'm just giving this for demonstrational purposes. The wire's coming around. And here's the other end of the wire, my red and my white. So here's my red from my air handler. Put that one right here. Here's my red from my thermostat, right here. That's really all there is to it. That way, if, the, if this condensate pump doesn't work, it shuts down the air handler, okay? That's all you're looking for is another safety for the customer. If you have any questions on how this works, give us a call at Jones Air Conditioning, 239. 596-5855. Go to jonesairconditioning.com. And if you like this video, please share, please subscribe, and please comment. Always think about your customer, how water rolls downhill, and how's the best way to take care of your customer. Thank you.